Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yuleno TV. I hope you well from whatever you watch in this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. So Ekuru Okot has decided to bring in another narrative. A narrative that Raila Morodinga started in the year 2018, soon after that general election, which was chaired by Chebukati. I'm talking about the election that was nullified by Supreme Court President, that is Maraga. So Dr. Ekuru Okota said that let's have a candid talk. That's what he started, how he started his talk. He asked why are elections across Africa very troubling and being a matter of life and death. Leaders are now generated by computers designed abroad and manipulated by their agents using electronic transmissions through many stages. He said that in the UK, US and EU, most of Asia, the votes of any election are counted and announced at the polling station as final. It is only in Africa that results from polling stations are deliberately subjected to being transferred, transported through many different steps, resulting in obscene manipulations. I think I agree with uh, Ekuru Okot, uh, uh, with uh, this narrative that he's bringing up. I agree with him to some extent, but I disagree with Ekuru Okot because he is now seeing the reality now. Whereas in 2018, he didn't see that need to fix this issue of a computer. I'm referring to that scenario where, soon after Maraga called for a fresh election, Raila boycotted. Now the rest was, uh, was Uhuru against Ekuru Okot. Ekuru Okot had not confirmed that he's go whether he was going to participate. I remember that uh, picture very well. He had not confirmed. So because he had not confirmed, there was allegations that election na henge fanyika. Kwa sababu, one of the major player ambo ni, ni Raila Molodinga ali withdraw. Because I remember that time, I was heading to Nairobi. And then I think Uru Mge Kenyatta was uh, having his rally in Teta Tavete, if I'm not wrong. And that's where now this news that uh, Raila had withdrawn from the election came about and I remember he seeing how uh, Uhuru reacted to that uh, statement. sana. But again, that was the right time to fix this issue of Faranga a computer. Because Chebukati had been requested to do due diligence and to conduct the election in accordance with the law and in a, in a, in a way that is understandable by the common monainchi and a way that can be traced. Because I remember during the Supreme Court battle, Otiende Amolo managed to convince the judges about this concept of vifaranga for computer. How numbers were played, manipulated to put someone in power. So because the courts were convinced, they ended up nullifying that election. So Maraga did one of the wisest things that any Supreme Court judge is supposed to do. That was the most, or rather, the Solomonic decision that Maraga gave to Kenyans which caught or got world attention. So I disagree with the cruel court in his statements now because how comes he's now seeing this problem wakati who? What about Kitambo? But again, again, this statement, I know the reason why he has brought it up is because of this ongoing coups, the coups that have been noticed or witnessed in Africa. These coups are most metokea, like the recent one in Gabon, whereby for the Gabon's case, President Ali Bongo, let me just say the former president, was ousted, and when his palace was par uh, perused, <laughs> in fact, there is a picture I I I'm sharing there, or another video that I'm sharing there, where former president of Gabon, Ali Patikana na Mabagi ya pesa. Mabagi ya pesa. Hizi ni pesa mbali kuwa me, 
ameiba ama or or either ameiba ama ni zile pesa alikuwa anapewa kama hongo kwa palace analetwa furushi maybe kutoka kampuni fulani ili kampuni fulani ifanye biashara fulani chafu amepewa furushi ama maybe amenda akafanya aka, aka tenda, tenda kama hii imefanyika so ministries require to give pesa kadhaa I'm Ali Bongo Ondimba president of Gabon and I'm to send a message to all the friends that we have all over the world to tell them to make noise to make noise for the people here have arrested me and my family my son is somewhere my wife is is in another place and I'm at the residence right now I'm at the residence and nothing happening nothing is happening I don't know what what's going on so I'm calling you to make the noise to make noise to make noise really I'm I'm thanking you thank you and that's why you find that the that the case of Gabon when the president asked for people to uh, to speak out you know speak out and defend him people were doing the opposite citizens there were celebrating something that is pretty contrary to what he had expected and that's why you find that nobody is talking about Gabon's issue i mean the only person who talked about Gabon's issue i think is uh, William Bruto uh, Kenya's president but most of african heads of state ni kama ile swala la Gabon wamelitupilia mbali awali shughuliki kabisa You know this president of Gabon ndio huyu uh, nani anasema vifaranga vya computer what a crew could stand to say because it is alleged that after the election Ali Bongo did not win he didn't win in fact the server results were released he had not won but because he was the president there he forced himself back into power that's why the military there said hapana ah, hii issue cannot go on like this you must be hosted so they hosted him and kitu kitu chini cha kushangaza ni kwamba hawakujiweka wao mamlakani they took Ali Bongo's Ali Bongo's cousin to be the interim president uh, 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 prior to another i think fresh election or kitu kama hizo so it's just a trans- transitional president as much as a kuru of court is beginning to see sense uh, regarding this uh, narrative of vifaranga via computer now I think this is a case of too little too late. The time where this issue would have been fixed oh, oh, if a uh, oh, 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 court can remember ni ile wakati IBC ilipoambiwa i conduct a fresh free and fair general election and due diligence must be followed. That was the time this idea or the rather this whole thing about the faranga of computer would have been sorted. And that's the reason why you find that a court court goes further to say that I dare state further that computer generated African presidents and governments will never have legitimacy as it is being done yearly across Africa. The writing is on the wall. Would you differ with the, what a court court is saying now? Would you? I don't think anybody would differ with this statement. The most important thing to notice to note here ladies and gentlemen is the fact that smartmatic are the people who are blamed every time you hear issues like vifaranga of a computer what rings a bell in your mind is smartmatic but you still you still also understand that in 2017 it was otimofo if, if if my pronunciation are correct otimofo is a company that was dealing with the what resulted to be vifaranga of a computer or computer generated presidents you remember that narrative well what smartmatic came to solve was again just trying to smartmatic kinyili kuja kufanya ni tu ku 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 modernize ku modernize the same same practice which was seen in 2017 so what it did it simply modernized it But again a kuro court's point is something that is worth consideration because of the example I've given you the example of Gabon let's just take for example the example of Niger those are some of the recent coups here in Africa Niger you know 
Of course, there are other uh, coups which took place last year, which have gotten world's attention. And most of this coup, you know, in a formulated kwamba, ni maybe the main, the, main, the main intention ni kufukuza wa America, Africa, Mfaransa, Africa, British, Africa, wanatolewa wote. That is the intention. And you know that, like the case in Niger, si, si Mfaransa mekata kutoka. Macron said hawawezi kutoka. Because the, 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 the person who is taking over as the president apo, is not a legitimate president, so hawatoki. So they said, wataka pale wa, whether Niger wapende or sipende, hawa wale, they are there to stay. They are not going to vacate that place. So these are the things that uh, Ekuru Court is trying to address. And I think one of the proposal of Ekuru Court is for people to adopt the electoral college or election results of presidential election once they make pronounced at the polling station. He were final. There is no more that is supposed to be done at the bombers of Kenya. That is one of the pro one of the proposals from uh, Ekuru Court, which according to me, I think it makes a lot of sense because once results in Metoka kwa polling station, his oz were final. If it is one, it is just supposed to be one on the other side. See at one, not to suffer as if it is not a pack of bombers of Kenya Kule, do not scare me potter. Kitambo during Moy's era, ballot boxes used to disappear. They were they were ferried using helicopters. Alafu na skia ziliangukwa Mau Forest. So that's one ambayo ndoka zitafute Mau Forest. Unatafuta Mau Forest days inaisha bado uyapata. Ukipata unapata box. Hilianguka box sawa. Papers ilitoka toka zikiana huko. Sasa start assembling these papers one by one. A time frame inaisha. That is the reason why this automation came about. To deal with the issue of kusafunisha ma ballot boxes. Because during Moe's time. Ballot boxes kuzi napotea. Mara zili ya si wapi. Mara zili ya si kule. Mara kuliko na weather conditions. So azizi aziz kusafirisho. In strongholds of the opposition. Ilikuwa ballot boxes zikitoka zinaanguka. Hama kuna weather condition. Haiwezi fikisho. Those are some of the things that used to be. To be said back then. The idea was to try. And make sure that. Ballot papers as a fiki, ama ballot boxes as a fiki to the intended destination. So, if this computer aided election, something else again has evolved. And this thing that has evolved is what is what Okuru Court is coming out to differ with.